All right, time for our stand-up, sit-down interview of Golden Edge. I'm here with Reed Duke of the Golden Knights, and I like to ask guys a lot of offbeat questions. First, I have to ask you about the developmental camp. Obviously, I mean, you're here, second year here. How is it going so far, and how intense was that practice? It looked pretty tiring to me. Uh, yeah, it was intense. Uh, you know, I think that's that's the way all, all first days are. Um, but guys are excited. That's that's kind of just what happens. There's a there's a big buzz and, and excitement in the rink, and um, guys are happy to be back. So, so I think it showed on the ice today. Now, a lot of guys during the season, we talked about the crowd here at City National Arena. For you being on the ice and, and really not – have an opportunity as, as often as other guys uh, to kind of see that kind of crowd. How is that as a player on the ice? It's awesome. Um, you know, you think a lot of guys are um, maybe zoned in or whatever when you're when you're playing. Um, but you, you definitely hear the the excitement and, and the cheers. You know, you, you walk on the ice and usually you get right into a drill or whatever you're shooting the puck. But it's hard not to just kind of sit back and, and take a look over in the stands and, and just see see all the support that you have there. So. Um, it's, it's an exciting group to be a part of right now. All right, so now to the meat and potatoes of what we like to talk about. Did you watch the NHL awards at all? I caught uh, just a little bit of them. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I saw all the highlights. So how about the outfits that uh, Derek England and, uh, and Carlson had with the, the Golden Knights symbol on the inside? Pretty fresh, huh? Yeah, that was, uh, those guys have some pretty good style, so I wasn't surprised to see what they were wearing. Now, you were around the team during the season. I asked all the guys this. Who's the best dressed guy on the Golden Knights? Because fashion is a big deal with you hockey guys. You guys are generally pretty clean. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a tough one. I know that there's a lot of guys with some pretty pretty nice fits. Um, I, I think I'm a little biased here. I have to go with my uh, my roomie for the start of the season. Uh, I got to go with Neeler. He's got some, some pretty sharp, uh, sharp outfits that I got to see. So um, I definitely took a few pages out of his book. What kind of, what's like a favorite meal of yours? Maybe a big steak. A lot of guys, steak. Everyone loves steak. Uh, favorite meal. I'm a big steak guy too, but um, I gotta say the, the seafood here is, is pretty lights out. I'm a big sushi guy, so whenever I get a chance to, to go for some seafood or whatever the guys, um, you know, I'm probably gonna choose some sushi. You're from Alberta, Canada. Yeah. Um, and the fact that the weather up there stinks, I'll, I'll go ahead and say that yeah, for you. No, I'll back that up. I'll back that up. <laughs> How are you loving Las Vegas? Like the bright lights, the heat. It's 110 degrees outside right now. But I mean, the shows, and everything else. How are you enjoying Las Vegas? Uh, I love it. Um, you know, I felt so blessed to to be a part of. Uh, the past season, um, you know, I, I got to see so much, and and just to see the culture and and see the way the city rally behind behind this team was was so special to be a part of, and um, you know, it was it, it's been a good summer so far, but you know, I'm pretty thrilled to be back here right now. Right. If you were talking to a kid that's watching this right now on how to get to your position and try to move up in the NHL, what would you tell them about kind of following their dreams and, and working hard? How would you instruct them to, to try to get make it to the top? Uh, honestly, um, this is such a cliche, but it's it's just a lot of work. Um, you know, you see a lot of guys just just make it right there, right away. A lot of guys have some ups and downs, but you, when you're growing up and you see those players that, that just kind of keep going, no matter no matter how much success they're having, um, eventually, you know, you see them you see them break the seal at, at some point, and um, and then they take their take their opportunities and they run with them. Um, so just keep working, no matter how skilled or, or talented you are. I think work ethic is a huge talent, so if you, if you love the game and, and you're having fun playing it, um, you'll go places. Last one, nickname. Do you have a nickname, or what are some of the best nicknames you guys have on the team? Oh, I think uh, I've, had, I've had some pretty bad ones, but um, I think the classic is probably just Duker. Um, one, that, one, that's, that's tame. one that's stuck with me uh, since I was a kid is um, one of my buddies from back home. I don't know how it's stuck. It's probably the worst. <laughs> I can tell you hate it by looking at your face. Uh, but it's uh, it's schmooksy actually. Um, I hope that doesn't catch on here. I hope I didn't start something. But that's gonna be your your title right here. Schmooksy. Oh, get that out of here. That's gotta be the. Uh, that's that's probably one that that stuck with me unfortunately. But I'm kind of used to it now. Schmooksy. Schmooksy. Yeah. So if the guy that started that is watching this right now, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> my man, this is a uh, Reed. I appreciate it, Duke Reed. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All Thanks right. For having me.